Hi class, welcome back to our second session. And for our second session, everyone, we are going to focus with our subject, Blueprint 2, Unit 5, A New Place, page 64. So everyone, please take out your Blueprint 2 textbook and let's start. For this unit, everyone, we are going to talk about a new place. But before that, everyone, before we continue our new lesson for this unit, let's have a review from our previous lesson. Last time, we talked about this picture. Now, this picture, what is the woman doing? What do you think she is waiting for? And where do you think she is going? So everyone, I know that all of you, we, you have different answer or interpretation for this photo. Also me. Now let's talk about this. I hope that our answer is also the same or even if not the same, at, at least the main point is there. So for this picture, everyone, I think the woman is waiting for a transportation. Maybe she's waiting for a train, also for a taxi, a car, or any public transportation. Also, this woman is, I think she's school or from school to home or also from home to school. So that is our picture top review. Now let's move on to our new lesson for today. Our new lesson for today is from lesson one from home to school like what i said earlier maybe that photo or that woman is from home to school or from school to home now we have three parts that we are going to discuss today first part of part a is model conversation with chapter 34 also Part B, Vocabulary. So, let's start everyone for our Part A. Open your book to page 64. Now, for this lesson, Part A, Model Conversation, you are going to read the conversation and also listen to the conversation the teacher will play to you. This listening, Track 34. So, let's start. Track 34. Hey, Enzo. You're late again. In fact, you're later than yesterday. I know. I come to school by train and it takes a long time. I come on the subway. It's faster than the train. Yeah, but there's no subway stop near my place. Too bad. You need to find an apartment closer to school. I think you're right. I need to find one that's less expensive, too. I think there are some empty apartments in my building. It's cheaper than your place. I can ask the landlord. Thanks. That sounds great. All right, everyone. So that is our part A model conversation. Let's read the conversation one more time. We have two persons or two people in here, Sarah and Enzo. Hey, Enzo, you're late again. In fact, you're later than yesterday. I know. I come from, I come to school by train and it takes a long time. I come on the subway. It's faster than the train. Yeah, but there's no subway stop near my place. Too bad. You need to find an apartment closer to school. I think you're right. I need to find one that's less expensive too. I think there are some empty apartments in my building. It's cheaper than your place. I can ask the landlord. Thanks. That sounds great. Okay, everyone. So that is our conversation. Now let's talk about this brief note. What is a landlord? A landlord is a person who owns place that other people rent. Also, we call this one as landlady. Like for example, if you are renting a house or you are uh, living to the house that you pay every month, 
Therefore, there's the owner of that place. And that owner, you call them as landlord or landlady. Usually, landlord if the owner is male and landlady if the owner is female. So, I hope that one is clear to you. Now, let's move on to our vocabularies. Now, we have eight new vocabularies in here and most of you, I know that you know this already. So, these are the transportation. Now, you are going to listen to the conversation again. Circle the types of, con of transportation or transportation you hear. So, I'm going to play one more time. Track 34 Hey, Enzo. You're late again. In fact, you're later than yesterday. I know. I come to school by train and it takes a long time. I come on the subway. It's faster than the train. Yeah, but there's no subway stop near my place. Too bad. You need to find an apartment closer to school. I think you're right. I need to find one that's less expensive, too. I think there are some empty apartments in my building. It's cheaper than your place. I can ask the landlord. Thanks. That sounds great. Okay, everyone. Now let's talk about this transportation. So, first picture is plane. I know all of you know this one already. Plane, airplane, or airplane, they are all the same. So, this is a powered flying vehicle with fixed wings. So, that is, or this is, a plane. Next, second picture is train. Train is a series of connected railways or railway carriages or wagon moved by a locomotive or by integral motors. So this is train. Next, third picture is wheeled road vehicle this one is car so this one this vehicle you can able to carry a small number of people usually car we have two seats only or two person also three or four so that is our car transportation next our fourth picture is bicycle or bike what is this this one an or a vehicle consisting of two wheels there is no engine in this vehicle but it can transport because it has wheels next is subway if you are thinking that train and subway are the same yeah, they're kind of the same, but there's also a difference between these two transportation. First, train, it's, um, uh, you, can trans, uh, you can travel by an hour or something. Unlike the subway, less than 30 minutes, you can travel from place to place. So, a subway also is an underground railway usually this one you found under ground or yeah underground next is on foot on foot is um so on foot is walking rather than traveling so you used to walk instead of traveling or commuting or riding a vehicle next our Next picture is boat, a small vessel for traveling over water. So it's just a small vessel or small ship only. It's not a ship actually, it's a boat. Next is for our final picture of vocabulary word is taxi. A taxi is a motor vehicle license to transport passenger in return for payment so that is taxi everyone i hope this one is clear and 
okay for you now let's move on to our exercise for today or practice for today fill in the blanks with the correct type of transportation so you are going to fill in the blanks of this transportation you have choices already we have eight new vocabulary transportation in here now we need five vocabularies in here or five transportations now for number one what is this everyone number one is this travels on the water so what is this this one is boat very good next number two this goes underground like what i've said this one is the same as chain but there's a difference it's underground so what is this subway correct how about number three this has two wheels no engine this is bike or bicycle correct bicycle or you can also ride bike next number four this one this transportation can fly so what is this airplane or plane correct plane and for our last practice this is a kind of car or this is a kind of car what is this you have to pay once you travel a four wheel also yes taxi a kind of car so there you are everyone these are our all right class so that is our part b vocabulary practice now for your exercise or classwork for today for this blueprint subject you are going to answer the question from part c in your world what is your favorite way to travel and why so i hope that this one you can answer and don't forget to send your answer to your teacher's personal telegram so everyone this is the end of our lesson for today we talk about two subjects for today speaking to the 1b and also blueprint 2 so this is the end of our lesson everyone i'll see you again next time goodbye